Today is the 7th of December 2018, and in the last 24 hours, WordPress released version 5.0. Now, what makes this significant is that WordPress has changed the editor that you use to create your posts and your pages. In the past, we've had what's called the classic editor, or what you see is what you get editor, that you can create your content with, much like any word processor. In WordPress 5.0, that has gone, and it's replaced by Gutenberg, which is a page builder. You may have actually used a page builder before. There are some very popular plugins. I personally use one called Elementor, and there are others. Page builders, you create your pages by adding blocks, and you can add a title block, a paragraph block, an image block, and so on. And then you can move them around. And that's what Gutenberg is. It's a page builder that works with blocks. I've read a lot in the last day or so about whether you should or shouldn't update your WordPress install to WordPress 5.0. A lot of people saying it's not very stable, and I would agree that the Gutenberg ed editor needs a lot more work to it before it's really stable. However, I also know that there are people out there who want to update now. So this video will show you the correct way to update to minimize the chances of anything going wrong. So here I am inside one of my websites, and you can see we've got the WordPress 5.0 is available, please update now. Before I update, what I want to do is I want to go to my updates up here and I want to update any plugins to make sure all the plugins that I have are fully up to date. Be aware that some plugins may not be ready for Gutenberg, may not be ready for WordPress 5. But what we will do is we will check first before we update. First step, look, update the plugins and I'm going to return to the WordPress update page. That plugin is updated and we should find that the only thing to update now, there might be a theme update but certainly the WordPress update will still be showing. Okay, here we are, we're back on the updates page and it says an updated version of WordPress is available. All right, the very first thing before you update to WordPress 5, you've updated your plugins. Let's go and have a look at the installed plugins and you may or may not, depending on what you've done in the last few months, installed the Gutenberg plugin. This is a way to test if your website, your plugins, your theme and everything are compatible with Gutenberg. So if you have got the Gutenberg editor, go and visit your site, make sure your site's all working properly, you've got no conflicts, great. You know that your website is going to be okay with WordPress 5. If you haven't got the Word, the Gutenberg plugin installed, go to Add New and then search for Gutenberg. and install this plugin. You can see it's only got a two and a half star review. That really shows how underdeveloped and buggy the experience has been so far with this plugin. But install the plugin and activate it and then go and visit your website, make sure it all works okay. If it does work okay, log out of your dashboard, log back into your dashboard, make sure that all works okay. If it does, then we can proceed with the WordPress 5.0 install. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to deactivate and delete the Gutenberg edit, edit, the plugin. We don't need it anymore because Gutenberg is built into WordPress. So let's delete the plugin just to make sure we're not going to have any conflicts between the plugin and WordPress itself. And we're going to go over now to the updates again. And we're going to click on the update now. So it's downloading the update, unpacking the update. It's installing it. And you can see now we are upgrading the database. When you click on here, you'll you'll be sent to another page if it's not water redirected, which mine is, to database update required. Click the update WordPress database button and your update is complete. And then you'll be logged back into your WordPress dashboard and we'll have all this information about what's new. And this really goes through what the, the Gutenberg editor is all about. If we go and have a look at posts, you'll see that all of our posts are still there. And if we click on one to edit, we're taken to the new Gutenberg editor. And this is what the new editor looks like. We've got a block here, which is a title block. And then we've got a block, which is a paragraph block or a content block. You can see that within the paragraph, we've got this, what you see is what you get editor. This has been imported from 
the website that had traditionally used the classic editor, Gutenberg updates that so you can access all of your existing content and it will be probably most of it in a single block like this. You may have other blocks if you've got images and things, but this is the new editor that you're going to deal with. If you want to go and you want to use the old editor, you still can. What you can do is you can go over to plugins and we're going to click add new. I'm going to click on leave because I haven't made any changes. And we're going to look for classic editor. And it's this one here by the WordPress contributors. Let's install that. And we're going to activate it. Okay, that's now activated. You can see in our list. If we now go back to the posts, and we go to that first post that we just looked at, you can see it actually says classic editor under there. Classic editor, classic editor. That's because this these posts were originally created in the classic editor. If we click on the title of the post, we're taken back and we're back in with the classic editor. This is the editor that we've used ever since WordPress was around pretty much. If you want to go in and you want to use Gutenberg, you can mouse over the title of an article and then go down and click on the block editor. So you can choose between classic editor and block editor. Block editor is the Gutenberg editor. So that brings us back to the block system that we saw before. So that's how you can update fairly safely to WordPress 5.0. Go in, try the Gutenberg plugin first. If it works okay, make sure all of your other plugins are updated, make sure your themes are updated, and then once all that's done, go and update WordPress to 5.0 and you should be all right. Obviously, you should take backups before you do any updates like this. I haven't done in this case because I've tried WordPress 5 update on a few sites now and haven't had any problems, so I'm fairly confident that you won't either. But there are some backup plugins that you might like to try to install and backup first, like Updraft Plus is a good one. And that will backup your database, backup your files, and then if anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to an earlier version. So good luck with WordPress 5.0. I hope you enjoy the new Gutenberg editor and I'm confident that if you follow the steps in this video, you won't have any problems with your update.